Hello, NIH family. Like you, I'm adjusting to the constraints of the pandemic. So that means this year, I'm recording this CFC message uh, right here uh, from my home office. You've seen these books behind me quite a few times now, because I kind of live here. But I'd like to talk to you about something close to my heart, the combined federal campaign or the CFC. As federal employees, we have the honor and the opportunity to help those in need by supporting a wide variety of charities. And I think we would all agree this is a year where those needs are exceptionally great. So many people have lost loved ones, have lost jobs, or in economic distress. The needs are great. And we as federal employees are fortunate to continue to have jobs, even though they may not quite be the kind of jobs or the locations that we thought. And so I'm hoping everybody this year can dig deep and figure out how to give to those who are less fortunate. This year, uh, the theme, it might sound familiar because we have loved it before. We're going to love it again. It's called Show Some Love. And that inspires us uh, to dig into our hearts and give generously. But the CFC has added a subtopic, uh, Be the Face of Change to remind us that when we all work together, we can do amazing things. We NIH, we are the face of change. We're right now in COVID-19, we're the face of change that's trying to find answers through diagnostics and therapeutics and vaccines. So our family does this in times of pandemic illness and at all times. So again, the needs are great. I hope that you will figure out a way to participate as generously as you can. This year, the campaign uh, will be a virtual one, so it's going to be a little harder, perhaps, uh, to get everybody's attention. All the more reason I hope you will get started early and think about your donation. We won't be able to have a director's challenge where we figure out how to embarrass me and the other IC directors. Uh, I know everybody will miss that. But uh, uh, we will just the same encourage you to put on your creative hats in other ways and think about what you can do to keep the CFC visible. Speaking of creative hats, I dug around in my closet and I found this. Now this is a vintage CFC hat. I don't think I even know what year this was, but it's still there. CFC, join our team. So I hope you will. I don't know, this might be worth something by now on eBay. Anyway, uh, this year, the campaign begins on September 21st and it runs only to January 15th. We always have this sort of last minute crunch. Are we gonna make our goal? So please uh, don't wait till the last minute. Key workers in your IC will provide all the information you need, no matter how large or small your gift can change a life. And there's several ways to donate. Those of you who've been around a while will know this. The easiest way is to do it online. Uh, you can do a one-time gift. You can do a payroll deduction. If you really like those hard copy paper ones, you can get those too. And you can even volunteer if you would like to help out. Particularly this year, we're gonna need lots of volunteers. So for the past many years, the NIH community has consistently donated generously millions of dollars to the CFC. This for me will be, I guess, my 28th CFC. And we've always done terrifically well. And that's an amazing accomplishment. And I'm grateful to all of you for that tradition. And I'm counting on it being sustained. Even in 2020, the year that just like, unlike any other year, the year we'll be talking about for a long time, but wouldn't it be great if we could also say it was a year where NIH folks decided to be particularly generous. So let's keep the momentum going. Let's all show some love, be the face of change, participate in the CFC and give generously. Thank you all.